Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Chapindos, a friendly, medium-sized breed known for its long, luxurious coats and curious demeanor. As always, we've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you are drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed's History Chapindos were shared across the Netherlands towards the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. They are all little variations of mountain dogs developed as farm dogs in Holland for herding sheep. The Briarm, the Bergamasco, and the Old German Sheepdog of the variety found in Hessen, the Odenwald, and the Niederhain area, among others. Like other European herding dogs, these dogs' long coats were essential for keeping them warm while working long hours in the cold and rain. Their knowledge and the eternal joy they had in their profession fashion earned them the respect of the shepherds. Even though they originated in the Netherlands, border collies became more popular among farmers and the Dutch dog's popularity diminished. The Second World War caused a decline in their numbers as it did for many other European sheepdogs. Author and dog expert PMC Topol was able to rekindle interest in the Chapindos and any surviving specimens were utilized to continue the breed. This ensured the breed's survival but had a meager population overall, with the largest population remaining in the Netherlands, followed by European nations, Canada, and the United States. The Netherlands Chapindos Breed Club was established in 1947 and the Rad van Beheer granted provisional recognition of the breed in 1952. The criteria were established in 1954 and the first stud book was published the following year. In 1971, the FCI followed the lead of the Dutch kennel club, the Rad van Beheer, in officially recognizing the breed. Currently, the breed is included in the American Kennel Club's Foundation Stock Service. Appearance Chapindos are friendly, medium-sized dogs. These dogs have thick undercoats and long, somewhat wavy, fine, dry hair on their outer coats. Their coats may be any hue. However, the breed standard favors blue-gray. Large top knots, mustaches, and beards are also characteristic of the breed. Chapindos have wide, round eyes with a bright, sincere look and high-set, drooping ears. Chapindos are built with strength in mind, as seen in their broad, powerful shoulders and chests. They also have a comprehensive, wide feet with tightly bunched toes. Due to their long, shaggy coats, Chapindos frequently seem more significant than they really are. They may range from 16 to 20 inches in height and 57 to 121 pounds. The males tend to be bigger than the females. Most Chapindos are stockier and have broader coats than their female counterparts. Temperament Chapindos make wonderful family pets because of their friendliness, loyalty, playfulness, and devotion. Chapindos are bright and eager to please. However, they may also be independent due to their heritage as herding and farm dogs. Dogs of this breed are not very vocal but thrive when giving some kind of responsibility. Despite not being aggressive, these dogs are ideal watchdogs because of their heightened vigilance. If they aren't neutered, they may exhibit more domineering behavior. Be careful to provide your dog with lots of opportunities for physical physical and mental activity. As a breed, they are active and athletic, and their leaping prowess is legendary. Your Chapindos may maintain their activity level with training and exercise. Socialization Chapindos are kind and welcoming to those they know and love but might be wary of strangers. These sociable dogs are born with a low prey drive since they evolved on farms with a wide variety of livestock. Socialization is crucial to prevent the canine's natural wariness of strangers from developing into poor manners or violence. When reared together, they can get along quite well with feline friends. Keeping little exotic pets away from any animal seen as a predator is always a brilliant idea even if your Chapindos aren't aggressive. However, like herding dogs, they may attempt to herd tiny children or animals. They are a medium-sized breed, making them a good companion for youngsters without being too big for the little ones. Educating kids on adequately engaging with them is necessary so they don't pull or bite. The same goes for your dog. No matter how mild-mannered the kid or animal, they should never be left alone with each other. Socializing young Chapindos with different people, animals, and circumstances may help them develop into well-adjusted adults. Grooming 
Shapidos have two layers of hair, a long, coarse outer coat and a shorter, fluffier undercoat that provides warmth. Because of the breed's intended scruffy appearance, they seldom need grooming services. Their maintenance requirements are simple since they don't shed a lot. The coat of Shapidos may be kept free of mats and tangles with regular brushing. Once every few days is ideal. As juvenile Shapidos develop their adult coats, it is essential to ensure they remain detangled. In addition to this weekly brushing, the Shapidos also benefit from an occasional wash to maintain their pristine appearance. It's crucial to maintain a routine of daily toothbrushing. Trimming the strong, quickly growing nails using a nail clipper or a grinder regularly is necessary to prevent overgrowth, splitting, and cracking. Examine their ears often to ensure no accumulation of wax or debris might lead to an infection. The time spent grooming your dog may be a special moment shared between you, so do well to make grooming a fun and rewarding experience so he'll be more amenable to veterinarian checkups and other forms of handling as an adult. Exercise the Shapindos is a high-energy breed that traditionally depend on speed and stamina to herd their flocks. For this reason, it's essential to keep the Shapindos active. Since Shapindos are so bright, they require daily mental and physical challenges. They do well when given responsibility or when taught new skills. Because of its high activity level, the Shapindos have to be taken for at least two 30-minute to one-hour walks daily. Walking your dog in the halls of your apartment building is better than nothing, mainly if you live in a climate where outside activity is limited by poor weather. Shap and Does thrive in canine sports like obedience, agility, and rally, in addition to the more traditional activities of walking, swimming, hiking, and visiting the dog park. Indoor games like hide-and-seek, chasing a ball rolled over the floor, and practicing new techniques are great ways to get your heart rate up and burn some extra calories. You may let Shap and Does run free in a fenced yard and play fetch with him for extra exercise. Speaking of fences, keep in mind that Shap and Does are well-known for their extraordinary jumping abilities, so you may need to build a taller one than you first anticipated. Training Shapindos are eager learners but may also have a strong desire for autonomy. Due to their working dog ancestry, Shapindos are naturally autonomous thinkers. This trait is essential for ensuring they can carry out their duties with minimal oversight. You should start training immediately when you welcome a puppy into your house. While they may be stubborn at times, they're also eager to please and hence more straightforward to teach than more headstrong canine species. The Shapindos should respond well to a training approach centered on praise and rewards diet and nutrition. Any commercially available high-quality dog food, whether wet or dry, should be okay for Shapindos. Although it is recommended that the Shapindos eat food designed for a medium to large, high-energy breed like themselves. Always remember to adjust your dog's food to suit his or her age and stage of life, whether puppyhood, adulthood, or old age. You should keep an eye on your dog's calorie intake and weight since certain breeds are more prone to becoming overweight. While treats may be a helpful teaching tool, excessive doling out can lead to weight Okay, find out what kinds of human meals can be fed to dogs and what kinds can't. You should also provide clean water at all times. Because of the wide range of dog sizes, personalities, and health conditions, it's best to consult your vet before making any dietary changes to your pet. Health the Shapindos are a breed with an immaculate health record. There are few genetic health problems recorded with the breed. However, like with other dogs, they are more likely to develop health problems like arthritis. Even though these problems may affect certain dogs, most Shapindos enjoy good health. Those interested in purchasing a Shapindos should work with a reputable breeder to learn more about the breed's unique health challenges. In order to lower the prevalence of heritable diseases in their pups, responsible breeders conduct genetic testing in their breeding stock. Preventing care is best, so keep up with your pet's regular vet appointments to help you spot any health issues before they become severe. Would you consider getting this breed as a companion? Let us know in the comments section below. Consider becoming a member of our channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.